Hey everyone, Nick here from Maintenance Assistant. Here today, I'll be introducing a new feature we like to call the Multi-Asset Work Order. The Multi-Asset Work Order gives the user the ability to add multiple assets to a single work order record without the need to create a work order hierarchy. It can be implemented quickly and easily transforms your work order workflow into a more efficient process. The Multi-Asset Work Order can function in two scenarios different asset rounds, and similar asset rounds. Let's jump right into it. Our first scenario involves multiple different assets with unique labor tasks. For example, in my CMMS of a university campus, let's say I'm the campus electrician. Every day, I perform daily inspections on a variety of electrical equipment. You can see these work orders here in my work order page. As the electrician, it's common for me to complete all of these work orders at once. This may be due to location, common tools, or priority. In my scenario, the assets in my work orders all exist in the residence building electrical room, so it makes sense to complete them all at once. Wouldn't it be easier if there were a way to compile all of these work orders into one? I'll show you how you can. I click New and create a new scheduled maintenance since this work order happens daily. I'll add a work overview and call it electrical inspection rounds. Maintenance type inspection and medium priority. I'll add my first asset, the circuit breaker. The circuit breaker has a series of tasks that I can input here. I'll go ahead and add the tasks. Now that my tasks are inputted, normally this is as far as I can get. But with the multi-asset feature, I can add another asset to this work order. This happens here, with the Add Another Asset button. I click this button and select my second asset. The Junction box. Now, you'll notice a couple things have changed. The asset image disappears since there are more than one the Asset Selection button is gone, and under the General tab, you can now view all assets associated with the work order and their status. Back under the Labor Tasks tab, I have a new drop-down bar which selects which asset is displayed. I want to assign some new labor tasks now to the Junction box I've added. I add a task, and I can now choose which asset the labor task is assigned to. In the drop-down bar, I choose my Junction box. And once my task is added, the task and the asset it is assigned to is displayed here. I continue until I finish my task list. Now that the junction box is added, the multiple asset work order starts to take shape, with different labor tasks on each asset all under the same work order. My round isn't complete though, so I'll add a few more assets to my work order. Now I've added every asset I need, thus completing my electrical round inspection work order. I can set scheduling priorities, and the next time I do my inspections, all my assets and labor tasks are in the same work order. Now that we've done scheduled maintenance, let's do a work order. The second scenario the multi-asset work order is useful for are similar asset work orders. Electrician here again. Let's say every year I need to replace the batteries for 10 identical alarm panels spread out around campus. Each one needs the same type of maintenance, but I don't want to create 10 different work orders. Instead, I can assign all alarm panels to the same work order, copy their tasks, and I'm good to go. Here's how it's done. I'll create a new work order and call it Alarm Battery Replacement. My first asset is Alarm Panel 1. In the Labor Tasks, I'll input the standard procedure to replace this alarm battery. With my task list in place, normally this is as far as I can go. But once again, I can select my other alarm panel and add them to the work order. I follow the same steps as before. I click 
add another asset. At this point, we've made things easier. We've included the copy tasks from asset dropdown, where I can choose my previous alarm panel and duplicate its tasks for my second panel. I do this again until all assets are added. And that's it. I can also add a part if I need it and some other fields. And just like that, I save my work order and the next time I need to do my alarm maintenance, all my panels are included on the same work order form and can be completed quickly. The multi-asset work order changes the way you do maintenance. Whether you're performing routine inspections or more complex checks, the multi-asset work order is designed to allow user-friendly control with minimal effort in completing required tasks. With the multi-asset work order comes many advantages, including a reduction in the work orders to be managed, easier to track maintenance, and more efficient inspection rounds. If the multi-asset work order looks right for you, send us an email and we'll switch it on at no extra cost. Until next time.